Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three of drawing a street map. And I thought I would continue on, and uh, it is pretty neat to be able to signify your street. So if you haven't watched parts one and two, you probably need to watch it. But all I did was go to the internet, and I'm from Texas, and I tech, I, I searched Texas State Highway Signs, and all these came up. And it's really pretty good quality, and I'm not going to go through, uh, you know, the different ones of your state. But I picked one that Texas uses right here on the major highways, uh, 35 going north and south. So I got that shape, but all I did in this video is not going to be about converting it to a clip art. Would have already done this. All you have to do is. Trace it, get it ready, go up to a range, ungroup, select it all, go to the boundary tool and get a boundary. Now you've got that shape. We'll left click and make it black. We definitely don't want it to be a hairline. So we'll go 0.5, but this is real important again, scale with object, because if you, if you do not do that, let's just go over that. I've done it several times with videos Let's make two copies, just so you'll, if you haven't watched those videos, you'll know. The one on the right, I'm going to scale with object. I'm going to make it a half a point, and I'm going to scale it with object. This one, I'm not. I'm just going to make it a half a point, and I'm not going to scale with object. Look what happens. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll shrink them both at the same time, equally. You have to go pretty far. Let me zoom in here. You see how one's gotten quite a bit thicker than the other one? Because this one is scaling with the object. It's still a half a point. Let's see what it says. Mine is still 0.12, but it's equal in size with the other one is a half a point. But it's so much thicker, it wouldn't look good. So, unless you start drawing about what the size you want, you need to scale with object. Now, how I put this in the road is pretty easy. What I did, I locked the map. I cannot click on the map anymore because when you're working this close, you cannot, you just can't get off the map to unclick something. So, you lock the map, and to do that, you just go up to a range and lock object that you've clicked on. I've also set my nudge distance on two inches. You'd never have two of these this together, this close together, but I'm gonna just show you how to put one in right here. I've set my nudge distance on two inches. I'm gonna take my number and just mark it out of the way two inches. Then I'm gonna take my virtual segment delete key and I'm gonna delete these inner lines. Then, Click back on your 35 and move it over that same two inches. Now let's ungroup or unlock this map just so you'll know what this looks like. That would look pretty cool if you're doing highways through a town and you could get, you know, your state highways or just, you know, you could just use rectangles and do the same thing. But if, if you're going to have a highway running through it, why not use your highway sign? Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.